you guys have been following my channel for a while now, you know that I post videos about catching mice, rats, and groundhogs, and rats, and mice, and squirrels, and voles, and capybaras. But I haven't been able to post a video like that because I've been so busy removing ground yellow jacket hornet wasp mud dauber nests, bumblebee nests. It's all the same. It's nomenclature. So I'm going to be taking this nest and pulling it down and removing it. And I'm going to see if my chickens want to eat it because I came up with that idea on my own. I thought maybe I would see if the chickens will eat it. My idea. Welcome to Vice Grip Garage. I mean, welcome to Copycat Tuesday. Just kidding. It's me, Hornet King. <laughs> so of course I don't do any videos about rats and mice and capybaras and squirrels. Wait, I do do squirrels. That's that's a lie. Uh, but I feed my larvae to them. I don't kill them. All joking aside, if you guys enjoy videos about rodent traps and how to remove certain rodent species, definitely check out Sean Woods here on YouTube. He has a great channel. He is a great guy. He has really great content. Has over 900 videos showing how he removes certain rodent species with different traps and things. And sometimes he has alternative methods on how he removes subterranean and aerial nest building yellow jacket species. So definitely give him a follow and tell him Hornet King sent you. As if he wouldn't already know. <laughs> so in this video I'll be removing two bald faced hornet nests from clients homes. And I have a special guest coming to join me on the one removal and that is Josh from Just Josh. And you've probably seen some of his popular videos about his My Pet Wasp series. So Josh came up from Texas to drive around with me for two days on removal. So we went around and did so many removals together. And this was just one of them where we removed a bald faced hornet nest from a lamp post. We brought the nest home and fed it to my animals. My two emus, my Rhea, my chickens, and my squirrel. Here's the video guys, check it out. Touch screen doesn't work very well with my gloves on, oh, so I have to do it with my nose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a baldy nest up on a cool looking light post. That's a big old nest. <laughs> and Josh is Let's joining get me. get it down. So we're gonna get this thing down. Josh, why don't you, uh, why don't you tap on that pole and show everybody how they get, like to get a little stirred up. Should maybe you, put, maybe you should put your veil, put your veil on first. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not the professional. <laughs> All right. Don't worry about your hands. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep, go ahead and knock on it. Kick it. Oh, there you go, you got them up. They're stirred up. Wow, <laughs> they're not happy. No, but we need them to do that anyway. We need them to come out so that way they can, uh, we can vacuum everybody up. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, we got the vacuum here, so we're gonna start vacuuming everybody up. Very much alive. Great work. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Plug up the holes so we can't come back out. 
the worst removals I've ever done <laughs> are dramatic and, dr and just full of pain. Yeah. That was well done. Thank you. There's just a couple up there, but they'll disappear. Nest the nest. Take it home and feed it to the birdies. All right, so we have a customer here who has bald-faced hornets. Now, this nest is doing really, really well, but I see a lot of videos on YouTube lately of people just bagging nests. And they say, it's so easy to remove a nest. I don't know why you spend so much time vacuuming when all you have to do is just bag the nest and walk away. Five seconds, that's all you need. The problem is they don't think about is all the returning foragers that come back from foraging, like WTF, where'd everybody go? So I'm going to bag this nest and show you how everybody misses all the hundreds of returning foragers. After I remove this nest, there's going to be hundreds of them floating around this space looking for the nest. Here we go. Everybody's inside the bag. That's it. But look at all these ones floating around here. Yeah. All right, so see all the ones floating around? That's why you don't just bag a nest and walk away. Because they're gonna come back and they're gonna be so nutty looking for the nest. But I'll vacuum everybody up and there won't be anybody left. Because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> They see the end of the nozzle, the vacuum, and they think it's the entrance way, so they usually just fly right into it. You can see it's, I've already gotten vacuumed up probably about 150 of these, and the swarming has already dropped significantly, obviously. But I have to stay here for about 35 minutes to vacuum up as many of the returning forgers as I can. If someone just bags a nest and <laughs> leaves it there, leaves all this activity, that homeowner has to deal with all that. So that's how you tell the difference between someone who knows what they're doing and someone who's doing it for views on YouTube. Because bagging a nest isn't always the surefire way. You have to bag it and remove the workers. So look at that. Just like that, everybody's pretty well vacuumed up, but I'll stay here for about a half hour and just grab the last remaining foragers that come back from foraging. Because they could be about an hour out foraging. So, get all the ones that I can. Clean up all this envelope residue. Here for about 35 minutes. We got a lot of returning foragers. And one just came back. Just proving my point even more. <laughs> one. So, get her vacuumed up here in a second. But that's it. That's how it works. You bag the nest, but you have to re vacuum up all the returning foragers. Otherwise, they'll try to rebuild. That's what they don't show you in those videos. All right. 35 minutes later, nobody left. All right. Ugh. So much nest in here. It's a baldy nest. Good, Doris. Oh, 
all these nests for all these booties. It's like Christmas. And I have no idea what nest came from where. Thank you, Doris. They're just cold, Doris. That's all. I had them in the refrigerator. Oh, sweetie booty. They don't like it, they're cold. Sorry, it's all I got. All I got is cold ones. But they'll warm up. Is that good, Wee Wee? Enjoy, booties. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, drop it in the comments, let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions for future videos or something you'd like to see me cover in the future, feel free to drop a comment and let me know below. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so to the Hornet King YouTube channel for the best videos on Yellow Jacket and Hornet Nest removals. And hit the bell notification down below, and that way you guys get an update anytime I do post a video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to check out this video and supporting my channel, and I'll catch you on the next video. I'm just playing Sean Woods, you know I love you, kind of.